Welcome back to Wild Child Yoga with and Beyond. My name is Melissa Aidy and I'm really happy to see you again. Enjoy the class. So let's take a deep breath in and as we exhale extending your arms up, reaching for the sky and opening up, imagining a rainbow of light around your body and turning your hands down and taking a step to the side and let's go again inhale the other way drawing the energy up from the earth bringing your hands together in prayer and down the middle of your body as you exhale and inhale up drawing up from the earth Bringing your hands up in prayer, drop your shoulders and opening up like a beautiful rainbow around your body. And one more, inhale up. And stretching up to the sky and exhale, rainbow around your body. Let's come down to a seated position. We're going to warm up a little bit down here. So bringing your feet together into butterfly pose. And let's flap those wings softly, gently, remembering to elongate your spine. One vertebra stacked upon the other, reaching up, grounding your tail down into the earth and reaching up towards the heavens with your crown elongating the back of the neck beautiful and of course a little smile and let's open up wide stretching into the heels we're gonna inhale up and exhale down and inhale around stretch that side body and exhale over to the other side again Inhale and exhale. Inhale up and exhale down. One more. Inhale and exhale. And let's change direction. And exhale. Good. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale and exhale. Good. And turning to face one way, we're going to bring the foot in and we're going to bend and up. And so reaching your chest down towards your thighs like that. Beautiful. Pointing into the heels so the feet are active. Good. No beach holiday for the feet. Let's not let them hang around doing nothing. Lovely. And up. And let's swap sides. Remembering to extend into the heel. Awesome, there we go, good job. So now we're gonna to turn to our side and this is a bit of a balancing posture as well as a strengthening of the abdominal muscles. So we're lifting the feet up, as you can see, I'm already balancing on my sit bones. This is called the boat. So stretching your legs up and taking your hands on either side. Beautiful, strong belly. Last one. And relax. Good. That's very brave of you. Let's try once more. Inhale, pointing up. Let's point the toes this time. And four breaths. Inhale. Two. Three. And four. 
coming down onto our backs. We did this one in the last class, so we're just going to stretch the um, opening the heart up, stretching the front of the thighs, bringing your hands to your ankles, the ankles are touching your bum, and take a deep breath in, and let's lift up, lifting our hip bones up to the sky. Good, you should feel a really beautiful stretch in the front of your thighs. Good job. And let's bring the hands up underneath your, your waist. And when you're ready, we're gonna inhale and lift one leg up to the sky. Pointing. And slowly coming down. Good, and the next one, inhale and exhale. Pointing up. And bringing it down. And rolling down one vertebra at a time. Excellent. And pulling your knees into your chest, lifting up. And a little roll up and down, giving yourself a nice massage. Good. And let's come sitting up. And up we come. We want to stretch, pointing into a warrior posture. So we're going to bend back leg is, sorry, the back foot is parallel to the mat. We're going to bend into that. The warrior poses are really, really good for strengthening the legs and focusing the mind. So just like a warrior aims his arrow towards the target in mind, having a long look over that middle finger, focusing your mind. Good. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, reaching over back. Beautiful. You should feel a completely different stretch now. And inhale, coming up, straighten the legs, turn to the front, and let's switch to the other side. So the outside of my foot is parallel to the mat, pulling in the bum, pulling in the tummy. Take an inhale and check that your hands are parallel to the earth. Good. And bending that front leg, and staring out over that middle finger into the distance, taking aim. Focusing your mind, practicing just like a warrior does on one point. Beautiful. Inhale, and as you exhale, let's reach over back, looking up, stretching the front of the body. Strong legs. Inhale. And coming up. Good. Good job. Right. So now taking a shorter step. This one's always been really tough for me. You might find it easier. It's called pyramid posture. So stretching up, dropping the shoulders, and bending down. Now you'll see if my feet aren't that far apart. You can touch the ground. Good job. Otherwise, let's hold on to the ankles really feeling that stretch in the back of the front leg working at keeping the chest open let's stay here for two or three breaths inhale one and exhale inhale two and exhale you can see i'm getting a little deeper into my stretch inhale three and exhale good and slowly coming up and let's swap feet so stretching the this is my left foot now just taking a step forward inhale stretch up and exhale coming down oh that feels so delicious i can feel the stretch in the back of this leg for some reason my left leg's been very tight these last few days Reaching into it, opening the chest, breathing beautiful, nourishing, deep breaths. 
pulling in my tummy so I can get a deeper fold. Inhale one and exhale. Inhale two and exhale. Inhale three and last one. Exhale. Good and bending that knee. Coming up. Good job. Right, we're gonna take a step out and stretching out like a bat. Stretching out, opening out, reaching to the sky, touching all the points you can. Good. And let's take it just a little fold forward, stretching down and relaxing. Pulling those legs up. Oh, what a beautiful mountain behind me. Bending the knees and rolling up one vertebra at a time. And let's shake it out. Gently swinging, swaying from side to side. My knees are bent. This just irons out any crinkles in the back. Good. Right. And coming down onto all fours. Elephant posture. So take an inhale, and as you exhale, reaching your trunk forward, balancing. And if you're brave enough, let's see if you can lift up the opposite leg, pointing behind you. Strong tummy, strong legs, strong arms. Good job. Inhale, and exhale down. And let's take a deep breath in, and exhale. Left arm comes forward. Inhale, lifting up, stretching into that right leg. Good. Reaching back and reaching forward at the same time. Strong arms, strong legs, strong tummy. And coming back. And now you're going to take your knees wide, put your feet together, and push back into easy child pose. Inhaling and slowly coming up one vertebra at a time. Good. Let's come up onto our knees. So this is called camel posture. You can tuck in your toes and you're going to put your hands on your bum. Lean back, see how that feels for you. Strong bum. If you can reach, great. Hold on. Pushing your chest up. Slowly coming out of it. And once again, dropping down into a little ball, into child posture. Inhale. And as you exhale, rolling up slowly. Good. So now some of you may want to go into Shivasana lying down on your mat like I've shown you before and others would probably prefer to sit. So sitting, pulling the flesh out from underneath you, making sure you're sitting on your sit bones, resting your hands on the back of your knees and let's take a deep breath in and exhale, relaxing. And we're going to try an exercise called soft belly. So when you inhale, in your mind, you say soft, and when you exhale, you say belly. You can say it out loud if you like, or just gently and quietly in your mind. So, inhale soft, exhale belly. Inhale soft, and exhale belly. Inhale soft and exhale bend. Inhale soft, exhale bend. Soft, 
Bem lindo. Só. Bem lindo. Beautiful. And now if you're lying down, wriggle your toes, move your thumbs over your fingertips, pull your knees up into your chest and give yourself a hug, and slowly rocking, coming into a seated position, and once you're sitting, your eyes closed and wrapping your arms around you for a big hug moving from side to side feeling those hands touching your body just being your own best friend your own biggest fan and the number one person in your life and gently opening your eyes bringing your hands to your heart and thank you for joining me, Melissa Aidy, with and beyond for Wild Child Yoga. And we'll see you again next time. Namaste.